Hey guys, what is up? This is RJ, and this is another StarCraft 2 cast replay analysis thingamabob. Today we got a TVZ between our two players, Nick Zero and Zeus Legacy. Nick Zero, if you remember, was is the guy that I got the re the huge replay pack. I believe he's on the Korean ladder this time. I don't think he's Korean, but he's playing against him. And I have to say, this is a nice game, and this map, Entombed Valley, I kind of have like a love-hate relationship because I love this map. I love the way it looks. I love the layout. I love how the third base is just right there, and you can and you just have only have the rocks to deal with. I like how the fourth base, you can take a fourth base here. You can take a fourth base here. It's like it's a great map, but I hate playing on it. I absolutely hate playing on it. Some of the reasons why, because as a Terran player, I find that this area right here is way too open against Zerg. If you're going to contain him and you're taking position over here, it's it's difficult because it's so wide open. The Zerg just has so much room to, with the Zerglings. There's so many flanking positions as in he can go around the back way, this way, and just flank you with the Speedlings and take out the tanks if you have the Marines here. And it, But it's also a really good macro map. It's, it's a macro map... Be, because you have so many possibilities of bases and with cross positions as a Zerg player, if <clears throat> it's amazing. The Zerg does immediately scout cross positions, which is kind of odd. I don't think this map is forced cross because I've seen people play this map but so like um this way, like yeah. I don't know what to call it. I don't think this map is forced crossed. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of odd that Zeus Legacy scouted immediately that way, as you can see, Nick Zero is scouting uh, counterclockwise, and I didn't officially introduce Zeus Legacy. He is the Zerg player up at the top right of Entombed Valley. It looks like he did go 15 hatch hatchery first, and then uh, starting and then going with a 15 pool, getting the 14 extractor. Very standard stuff for a Zerg, especially on a huge map like this against Terran. Going hatchery first is pretty viable. We have the Orbital Command now just finishing for Nick Zero. Going to get the SCVs and the OP Mules. Mules did get nerfed in the last patch. Now on gold bases, they do the si they collect the same amount of resources as as blue minerals. So here we have the SCV for Zeus Legacy. is going to see everything going. The spawning pool has not yet been built. The hatchery is about to finish. Oh, look what we have here. We have a bunker. Going to do some bunker pressure trying to deny that expansion because Nick Zero is taking an expansion of his own. Opting to build it on the low ground, not on the high ground, and then transferring on the low ground. It is a little bit faster. And is he going to bring drones off the line to deal with this is the question. We already have two Marines coming on the way, and Zeus Legacy knows this. That drone has been ch chased by the Marines, and a bunch of drones pulled off the line to deal with this. Will it be enough? Will, will those Marines be able to get in it and do tons of damage? We have a spine crawler up for Zeus Legacy, and now the... Mer the Ze uh, zealots? No, the Zerglings are now out, and they're gonna. And those Marines are gonna do tons and tons of damage. Does not have an SCV to repair it though. There's the SCV going to repair it, losing a few Zerglings, not too much. The Marines are able to kill a little bit. Let's check out the re the units lost tab. Two workers killed, three units killed, three units killed for Zeus Legacy, and one worker killed. So fairly even. I think it was it was okay because he did delay the hatchery and allowed his own expansion to get up. Let's check the income tab now. 19 harvesters to 20. That's not that. It was it was 16. He did pop out a few more. But generally, the Zerg will always want to be ahead, and that mule is going to help the economy of Nick Zero so much. We have overlords being spread out around the map, and we have four Zerglings now up, going to scout out what is going on. Those Marines are going to deny any any harassment from the Zerglings, just checking out what's going on. No factories yet. We do have two refineries so he's going to transition into some more tech there we go tech labs now f for the barracks now going down and nick zero has not taken his layer yet he only has one hatchery or one extractor not mining for not mining gas from it so we're going to see mainly uh, zerglings and has he and yes he has research speed for, uh, he has research speed for his Zerglings. We have a macro hatch now for Zeus Legacy going down. Only one spine crawler. 
and a bunch of bunch of marines for an Xero doing normal standard stuff. Now getting combat shield and stem. Three more marines are gonna pop out. Getting a bathing's nest. Zeus legacy is. I am Yoda. Still not getting that layer tech. Now finally mining gas. Is he gonna get any more extractors? Is the question. Is he gonna transition into Muta? Because Ling Bling Muta is a very effective tactic against Marine tank. If if you, you, if executed properly. Still, he has still not taken the extractors at his natural yet, Nixero. Nothing, nothing much going on. Let's check the income tab. It is relatively even. The Terran is slightly behind those mules, getting him the upper lead every once in a while. But supplies are identical for both players. Zeus so Legacy needs to build another overlord if he wants to keep producing units. And he looks like, yes, he did build three extractors now. Going to transition into more tech. Now getting that layer tech out. Queens are doing their job. Very good injects by the Zerg player. Queens do not have much energy. Much leftover energy. And a bunch of Zerglings now here. Are we going to see any Banelings being transformed by these Zerglings? One Zergling is going to go out and just scout out. He's going to see the tech labs on those barracks. He's, he's, and he's going to see that bunker. There is the factory with a reactor. Interesting choice. Is, are we going? I suspect we are going to see some medevacs. Not not Hellions. Hellion it is far too late for Hellion harass to be anywhere near effective. It's nine minutes into the game. Bunch of Zergans out here taking map control. I believe. I think Zeus really needs to go and take a third. He has let the Terran be on two bases for far too long. He needs the he, Zerg needs the economic lead in order to be successful. Another factory going down here at the natural. Two more re refineries now going down. Some supply depots. Nothing out of the ordinary here. He needs to start taking his third. And he needs to start transitioning to more tech. There we go. The spire is now going down for Zeus. And evolution chamber as well, and burrow and centrifugal hooks going down for the roaches. Now starting to spread out the creep a little bit, getting a creep queen, going to take out those destructible rocks to get that third base out, and we have a command center for an Xero now. Already under the way, so it looks like an Xero is going to have the third base a little bit before Zeus. Two more racks going down, standard stuff. This base is not really saturated. I would like him to see continue up with SCV production. This base over here is saturated. Really, I think he transferred a little bit too many, um, too many SCVs, and we got a bunch, a bunch of banelings now in the center, going to probably be baneling bombs. Centrifugal hooks. I'm sorry. I I said roaches. There's no roach horn. It is obviously for the banelings. Excuse my mistake. The four banelings are gonna move away from those marines. He could have he could have possibly taken out a bunch of them. Looks like he is gonna do the burrow. And will he see those? He does see them. And three marines are gonna move out for some reason and get completely destroyed by the banelings. Probably just a sacrificial just to get just so that no more marines do get uh, killed later in the game. And Xero has a supply lead over Zeus Legacy, and that is never good. As a Zerg, you always want to be have or have more supply. 21 Banelings morphing in, 44 Zerglings coming out. We have melee attacks one now for the Zerg player, and we have a bunch of Banelings rolling in, destroying all those Marines. Only a few Marines remain. He's gonna have to stim again, taking out as many Banelings as he can. Five Marines left, splitting his Marines up as best he can. Three Marines about to die, and those Banelings clean up everything. One medevac does end up living. I would like to have seen him maybe pick him, pick up the marines with the medevac. That would have been beautiful. And the factory is now going to switch with the tech, uh, with the barracks. We're going to see siege tech now going down. We have double engineering base and an armory. The armory is going to help out with those things. Why did I keep pressing that button? E. Nope. There we go. I have the Razor Naga Mouse, and I keep accidentally pressing buttons on the, on the side. Now taking out those destructible, those destructible rocks. A bunch of Zerglings and Banelings down the center. Looks like we have Zerg Flyer Attacks 1, but no Mutas as of yet. Let's check the Units tab for a second in case I missed anything. No, but we do have 63 drones to 57 SCVs. Very nice. Going to deny that third. You always, as a Zerg, you always, always want to stay one base ahead of your opponent, at least one base, if not two. 
just to be sure. Those rocks are now done, but why is, But why would you take them out? You know the banelings are there. They could do a whole lot of damage. The seed chunk's doing terrible damage to those banelings. They are going to roll in and completely wipe out those tanks. That is 300 gas just gone down the toilet. 375 gas now gone. Those marines did do a good job taking out those banelings and those zerglings. But still, that is three siege tanks gone. A ton of gas, and as Terran gas is slightly more valuable than than as Zerg or Protoss, because as Zerg or Protoss you generally do get all your gas. As Terran you don't because you don't need it, and unless you do have all six gas geysers taken on your three bases, it's not that big of a deal. But if you only have four, 300 gas is a lot. Fourth base for Zeus Legacy now going down. Nick Zero still has a supply lead over the Zerg, which is not good, honestly. A bunch of mutas going down, but I don't think they're going to do enough. There's just way too mar many marines. I would have loved to see the mutas come out earlier. Zeus is just behind terribly on his tech. Behind on everything. We do have melee attacks 2 about to finish, and ground carapace is about to finish. A bunch of banelings have been burrowed there. Going to do some damage. He might be able to take out that tank. No, it does not take out that tank. It's going to fly around. There is some missile turrets, not in the right places. There's a little hole where he could go to, but there's just too many marines. He's losing way more, many, way too many mutas for this harassment to actually be worth it. Bunch of marines stemming, going to attack the mutas. Well, I'm flying all over the place. Mutas are gonna leave. They did their job. Check out the resources tab. Seven workers killed to two workers killed. Not very good. He lost too many mutas. I believe he lost three or four. Just wait that way too many for only seven workers. And looks like we have a drop in the base of Zeus by Nick Zero. And those Zerglings are gonna go in and will he clean it up? A bunch more Zerglings now coming in. He needs to move those Marines fast or else they're all gonna die. One medevac picked up. He's gonna plop them right down here. He might be actually be able to deny mining right here, take out taking out a few drones. And he needs to move those Zerglings in fast. No, he transformed all of them to Banelings. He has no Zerglings right now. Bunch of Mutas over here, but those Marines are going to be more than enough to handle the Mutas. If he stems them. Not stemming the Marines, bad choice. All those Mutas are going to clean up those Marines. Losing three Mutas, that is way too many Mutas to lose. He's going to lose the two Medivacs, but that is still bad. An engagement down here in the middle. Those Zerglings are doing terrible damage to the Marines, but those tanks are just wasting those Zerglings. The Banelings are going to roll in, and will the Banelings be fast enough to catch up to the Sim Marines? I know the tanks are doing terrible damage, taking out so many Zerglings and Banelings. More than half of the Marines survive from the Banelings. A bunch of banelings got destroyed. The army supply for both player for Zeus is terrible. A ninety-six army supply, almost a hundred to fifty-nine. Sixty-five workers to seventy-four. That's not good. Muta's going in. They're taking out a few tanks here and there. And wow, Zero just has this game in the bag. And as I said, trying to contain the Zerg over here is terrible. Because if you move all your marines in the front, which right now he's not going to do because there are banelings and he's going to be smart enough to split up his marines. But if there were no banelings and he had the marines up here, Zeus could send the zerglings around the back to take out the tanks. And he might, and if he's lucky, he might be able to do that. Some Oh, a drop right here for Nick Zero at the fourth of Zeus Legacy. Going to deny that base, and without that base, there's going to be a huge economic lead because Nick Zero, as we speak, is taking his fourth. And there are just too many marines, the stim marines, doing terrible damage to the mutas, losing almost all his mutas, only two left. He's going to deny that fourth expansion. The banelings rolling in, two tanks got, just got totally wiped out. Marines are going to do terrible damage. The banelings completely get raffle stomp, completely get destroyed, and Zeus Legacy leaves the game. Wow. I think, I think the main problem that Zeus Legacy did have in that game was that he was behind on his tech for so long. He got mutas, he got his mutas, his spire, after there was way, way, way too many marines. There were so many marines to deny the mutas any harassment. He didn't, he wasn't aggressive enough. 
he was on two bases for too long. Just good mechanics by Zeus Legacy. The macro is good up until the end. Both players' macro did slip quite a bit. But regardless, very good game by both players. Zeus just did a few too many mistakes. And Xero pulling off a really nice, nice last engagement. I think he could have done slightly better with the bunker. Maybe put it a little bit earlier. But... Wonderful defend by Zeus Legacy on that bunker pressure, I'd have to say. Did not lose too many workers, did not take any damage to that hatchery. And and guys, these are the kind of games I like. I love these kind of games. No, not games where Terran wins all the time. I don't just cast those games. Jeez. Exciting games where both players attack. It goes back and forth until the very end. And if you have games like this, you can send it to me at replays.brothersofdomino at gmail.com. That is replays at brothers or er, replays.brothersofdomino at gmail.com. And I'm very sick, so <sighs> excuse that. <clears throat> anyway, this has been the worst outro ever. This has been RJ, and this has been a StarCraft 2 cast. Remember, send me those replays, and don't forget to subscribe for more cast. I'll see you guys next time.